Hello everybody, Six here again with another Brotato run, and today I'm gonna be playing the spider, the mutant, I meant, I meant the mutant. Uh, this guy gets 200% XP gain and loses 50% item prices, uh, so it's hard to buy things, but we will get free passives, etc. Just from leveling. Now for what to go for, I was thinking about the SMG, but I did a bunch of SMGs runs lately, so mm, Taser is also something I did. I guess I can go with Shredder. Let's try to do an explosive build, so that's gonna be a ranged build pretty much. And uh, yeah, let's go Danger 1 because I don't want to deal with inflation, and off we uh, go. And you know what I forgot to do again? <laughs> I forgot to look up the options after the game. Um, ah, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Maybe I'm gonna remember it today, maybe I'm not. Who knows? Who is to say? And we got an item really early. That's really lucky. Now with only 53 coins, I think I have a very slim chance of actually getting something. Your XP gain against range. Yes, please. Plus one armor. Uh, you know what? I'm going to force at least one level of harvesting right away here. I think that's a good idea. I mean, if, if the game allows me to. I am spending a bunch of money here for no reason. Here we go. Five harvesting. Thank you very much. And now I will slowly transition over to uh, whatever build. Oh, I guess attack speed is good. Pistols, cacti, no. Pickup range, no. Let's roll for two. Laser gun, no. Uh, I want to try to force this shredder build. Uh, let's lock this down as I can easily gain health through level ups. Let's roll again. Pistol. Harvesting and dungeon against damage, no. Let's roll again. Can I please find our shredder? Thank you very much. And let's also make the shops cheaper. And uh, let's go with it. Uh, I'm a bit sad that I only have one weapon right now. But I mean, it is what it is. I'm going to try to get my snipes in. Uh, I guess that would give us a value out of a single weapon anyway. As long as I can get my snipes in. So I need opponents to just uh, align. Align. Align opponents and give me money. And explode at the same time. Here we go. Very nice. 50. Ah, that, that's a sizable amount. And we should also level up here. Now the reason why I went with I wanted to go with harvesting right away is because I want this to start scaling. And also because harvesting gives us XP alongside the money. And uh, I do want to have a secondary way of getting XP. Let's go armor I would say. 6 speed is decent but I'm gonna roll these. Uh, again one armor. It's actually let's go damage. Let's actually start fixing my damage. This is level 5 so this is a forced uh, fourth good level, I guess. So I will go with two range damage. I think it's a bit more important than armor. Let's get both of these, as I do have enough money. And let's lock this down once again, because it's important to get some damage up. Actually, you know what? This is expensive. I need to get my weapons going. Forget that for now. Let's try to get my six weapons first. And I will see what exactly we're gonna stick with. I mean, I will try to get any explosive related things, of course. Now, the thing with explosive build is that um, you need a couple of lucky rolls on the level ups uh, as you want to find those passives that talk about explosion damage and whatnot. Uh, yeah, that's it pretty much. And also the other downside is, I guess, that there isn't really anything on level ups that could actually help you. But I think that's true on every weapon anyway. Come on, ah, I wanted to run down to pick up the XP I left there, but whatever. I think I want to try to get one more time. Oh, you know what? We're going to get 50% actually. <laughs> I was about to say two range damage, yes. I was about to say, I think I want to go one more time into harvesting to scale even better. I would like this, to be honest, but it costs 60. It's a bit too much for me. And the weapons seem to already cost like 3D. So uh, I want to rotate over to getting my weapons going. Here we go in our shredder. And honestly, I would even say lock this down to, uh, yeah, to try to get it at least. Let's go. Now, the whole thing with the shop being extremely expensive is, of course, um, really bad for us. But it is what it is. Uh, the good thing with these weapons is that I don't actually need to have infinite damage. Because at the end of the day, they do explode. So, if, for example, half of them explode, then most of the time, every opponent on the screen should be dead. Like, if I have six of these. Right now, of course, I only have three. But if I have six of them... Uh, first of all, they seem to have infinite piercing, and they also seem to not have falloff from piercing, or at least they don't have falloff from explosions. So, one way or another, I will be able to cover most of the opponents on the screen, so that's why I want to have even more opponents on the screen, if possible. I would say we reroll this. Uh, 10 harvesting, I'm gonna take that, as I said, and 12% damage is also good. I do want to get my harvesting up as early as possible. Uh, we will get more opponents, and also the new weapon, and I would even say 10 luck. Honestly, no, let's not go for luck. Uh, we need to be a bit more careful about what we're gonna chase down with this character because, yeah, he has 50% more expensive shops, so it's not really that easy to buy that many things. Uh, if anything, 50% uh, more expensive shop, if we're gonna be pragmatic about this, means that if I would normally get, I don't know, let's say 20 weapons or 20 items, I will now gain 15. 
I'm not exactly sure if the math is correct on uh, what I would gain with the same amount of money. Uh, but uh, at least, you know, it's definitely gonna be a very, very big hammer. Let's imagine like 200, they cost 100, 50% more, they cost 300 now, so you can only buy... Yeah, 50% less pretty much. I'm gonna take this, 8% dodge against one armor is always good. Although that first point of armor is very important, but whatever. 15 luck against 10 harvesting against 7 crit chance. Mm, honestly, I do think I want to invest into harvesting. But I don't think it's worth it. This is a guaranteed purple, by the way. So I'm going to say maybe find the three armor. That's like so much harder to gain. Or nine dodge. Now let's go with three armor. Here we go. That's very hard to gain in general. 45 range. Sounds good. 10 luck, I would say. Let's get our luck up a bit now that it's there. Dodge and crit chance against range. Are these guns? Yeah, they are guns. So they go also more away. Mm, do I want this? I mean, it's I can only buy one item pretty much. I'm thinking about the fact that ah, let's get weapons. I try to get my weapons up first. Let's roll again for nine. Less piercing damage. Well, these weapons do not lose from piercing damage anyway. Very nice, as I as I mentioned previously. My assumption was actually the reality of things. I would like this. Yeah, I'm gonna buy this. It's gonna pay for itself. The minus armor is bad, of course, but it's gonna pay for itself. And as I said, and as all of you also have said. Uh, harvesting gives you XP gain, and XP gain is something I definitely care about, so I should invest into that. And then after that, they should focus on damage. Like, I think I'm pretty much done with any harvesting related things after I get that uh, plus 16 harvesting. I'm gonna leave harvesting be its own thing, and uh, we're gonna invest into damage and damage and damage. And if I can get my armor up to 10, then so be it. But otherwise, uh, I think offense is the best defense, especially when you have explosive shots that just straight up just destroy everything. Now, the most important thing to get, of course, would be the, the epic upgrade of explosion damage is bigger. And also some upgrades uh, that I think are common that say explosion damage is more damage. Uh, but for now, I first want to see the bigger. Nice. Uh, by the way, I lost a lot of life and I have zero healing. Eight harvesting. I'm gonna take this as a last ditch effort, as I said. 3% HP healing or 7... Let's go crit. Plus in damage, yes. I should have gone with a plus 2 damage, by the way, not for the 7%. Uh, what did I get at some point? Crit chance. What's this thing? Crit damage? It's two percent. It's that double damage. Okay, so crit chance is pretty much damage. If something says seven percent crit chance, it's seven percent damage. And we will take this. As I said, I'm also thinking about taking this. We lose armor, but we gain damage. It's a bad idea, but whatever. Let's reroll. This is good though. Lose a bit of luck, gain HP regen. Yeah, this this is decent. And uh, I wouldn't go as far to say that this is also decent. Let's roll for twelve. And I think we're gonna stop here. Let's buy the Shredder, of course, and let us go. Now I got my... Uh, well, what's the upgrade on the Shredder, by the way? From 9 damage, 15. And also 65% chance to explode on hit. Does that mean the final level is gonna be 100%? If the first one is 50, and the second is 65, the third one should be 80, right? Because it increased by 15%. And then the legendary version, hopefully, would be not 95, but 100. Like, like the little small boost at the end for the guaranteed explosion. I guess would be my idea on that. I've never really used this weapon enough, by the way. I definitely need to increase my uh, base damage. Oh, something else. Give me a second. I'm going to pause again. So this thing gets... Oh, this also gets 50% of my range damage boost. So that's pretty bad, but it's okay. It's like this MG. This, this weapon literally... Think about it. This weapon literally takes... Uh, gets the same damage boost from your, uh, from your range damage as SMG does. And the SMG, when you level it up, it increases its damage by 60%, 70%, and 80% at the end. So this is just almost worse than SMG. This is once again a guaranteed purple. I'm going to try to force a triple, uh, either a triple armor or, I mean, I got that just new dodge here. I'm going to go with triple uh, range damage if I can go with this. 12% damage is also good. Uh, yeah, let's take it. 9 max HP, I'm going to take it now that it's here. I mean, normally I wouldn't take it, but, you know, it's it's uh, it's a purple upgrade. We're going to take it. And uh, I can buy both of these. So I'm going to lock this down and buy this one. And we roll once, I would say. I think that's enough. Actually, let's roll one more time. I think that is enough this time, though. I don't want these. Yeah, honestly, no, I don't. Let's actually play. I do want the crazy health and HP regen. I mean, the HP regen part is not crazy, but at least having a bit of HP regen and a sizable amount of health is important to not get, you know, snipped. And uh, honestly speaking, armor is also important and I have very, very much, you know, not cared about it. So uh, we need to catch up on that a bit. Now, theoretically, luck should help us into one or two more good level ups. Luck in general is important when you do, when you play with a mutant, in my opinion, because the more luck you have, the higher tier levels you find. And uh, that's pretty much the best thing you can get, right? 
And the difference between finding uh, plus one range damage with finding plus three range damage, which is the purple version. Yeah, that's huge. Like, it's as if you got three levels instead of one. So you should really, really try to get a bit of luck going with this character. So when you reroll your passives uh, on the level ups, you will find some better things than normal. Let's see here. That's going to be most likely real. Knockback. You know what? Let's take it. Let's take knockback. Range damage and range against attack speed. I would say, of course, yes. This is a good chance here. 5% crit chance. That's 5% damage. I'm going to roll this. 8 melee damage. Such a sad life, but it's just still 3 range is really good. Engineering, 3 HP region, um, 8 harvesting. I don't think this is... Uh, I think it's a bit too late. Let's, let's roll. I want to go damage if I can. 10 luck. I'm going to take this 10 luck. Although I just mentioned that uh, I should invest into other things. I would say we're going to buy this. So let's combine these and buy this. So this is 80% chance. Wait, what? 50 plus 15 is 65. 65 plus, plus 10 is... Uh, yeah, plus 15 is 80. Yeah, that's correct. So from 80, I hope it's going to become 100 and not 95. And let's, uh, let's also buy this, as I do have the money. I got 10 like I lost 8. We are still on net positive. Let's roll here. I could take this for crazy damage amounts. Is 47 life enough? Obviously not, because this character levels up very often. So, the more you level up, the more health you gain. You definitely don't want to lock down your health gains uh, without reason. And uh, we have decent weapons now. I already got my purple weapon, so we already get at least one tank buster. Uh, we are at wave 9. The sec yeah, the best wave of the game. Wave 6 and 9 being the nicest ones. And um, yeah, let's just continue going on. Just gathering money. At the end of this wave, we should have about 500, I think. Yeah, maybe 4. I'm not exactly sure how much money the waves give you. But most of the time, at the end of wave 9, I do have 500. So I'm just assuming 500. But the thing is, I'm never taking into account how much money I had. Uh, those other times I beat wave 9. So... You know, potato, potato. <laughs> I mean, potato, potato doesn't really fit here. And also, I see we're not really destroying the big tanky dudes. So th that's a bit of uh, an issue for me. I mean, that's a bit of a panic moment type. We definitely need to increase our damage by a lot. We need to start doing like 15, 16, 17 damage if we can. 500 coins, as I said. XP gain and damage, uh, pretty much no. 4 range damage, yes, that's that's why we have 12 luck, man. <laughs> we're at level 20, so that's a guaranteed legendary uh, purple. I would say 7% damage multiplicative with a crits or 9 dodge. 9 dodge is really, really good too, defensive-wise. Of course, this is like 110 coins plus more, but I don't really want this. I'm going to say let's go 9 dodge for damage. Let's go damage. I'm still not one-shotting opponents. 2 armor. I'm just going to take that. As you understand, I value armor more than dodge, although that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> like, a 2 armor gave us, what, 8% uh, dodge? I could have gone with 9% dodge. 8% less damage taken or something. I could have gone with 8 dodge. I would say let's roll here. Once again, I need to pay attention to what I buy. I don't have that much money, although I see 400, but <laughs> these things cost a lot more than they should have. Roll. Another shredder. I'm gonna combine two and buy this. For future, in case I find another shredder. Obliterator is here. Mm, doesn't really fit the bill. Does it? You know what? I'm gonna take an obliterator. Let's have like shredders and obliterator. Although the thing is that obliterator is heavy. Man, this weapon is heavy and I really don't want to invest in it because I'm like a gun build, as I said. On the other hand, though, eh, let's buy it. You never know, man. Uh, another reason why I don't want that is not only is it heavy, but it's also uh, very hard to level up as it the minimum amount you can find it on, the minimum level tier or whatever it is called you can find it on is, legend uh, is purple. So each and every one of those I want to buy is going to cost me like 300 plus. Uh, if not 500 later. And if I find like a legendary, it's gonna instantly be 10, uh, 1000 coins, almost guaranteed. I have seen 700 coin items at the very end, like at wave 19. Especially in higher difficulties where the inflation is higher. So this guy, if, if it normally would sell for 500, I mean, you're gonna find it 700 plus. So, I don't know, man. Obliterator always sounds like a good idea. Ah, let's take it, let's take it. For you guys, for people that want to see the obliterator. Although I would like to do this explosion build, to be completely and utterly honest. But Obliterator is such a rare find. Might as well go for it. Might as well go for it. And maybe I'm gonna transition over to a minigun build. Uh, as uh, Obliterator is a heavy weapon and uh, minigun is also a heavy weapon, so there is a chance we're gonna transition over to that. We're gonna like combine all of our weapons and get some explosions going. 700 coins. 4 damage, yes, that's luck for you. Um, I would say... 
I also want this 15 max life is really defensive, but we're gonna buy this first. So let's combine two of these shredders and uh, let's buy the obliterator. And I'm gonna say let's buy both of these. I definitely want more max HP and one armor is decent enough to pay 86 for it. I'm gonna lose two life though. Uh, maybe not that. Let's make this though. Here we go, shredder. Let's lock that down. Hey, look, the wonder bots. And uh, yeah, let's actually go. Oh, now I got an obliterator for everybody that wants me to have one 600 damage. Obliterator, obliterate! <laughs> I love it. Oh, look at that, a thousand damage on the crit. I super love it. I love it even more than I loved it before. Man, these mummies are super tanky. They even survive a 600 damage obliterator hit, which is a bit unbelievable to me, to be honest. But whatever. <laughs> like, I'm thinking about, okay... It makes sense that they survive it. Like, it's not like, whoa, how much lavish do they have? A thousand? Yeah, they might have a thousand life, of course. But the thing is that, how are you supposed to beat these things when you have, like, a melee weapon that does 40 damage? That's what I'm thinking about. I, I'm not even thinking about if you have an SMG and it does 3 damage. Uh, of course, that's... Yeah, you have an SMG, bro. You're not supposed to kill tanks anyway. But if you have a melee weapon that does 50 or 100 damage, are you supposed to hit this thing, like... 10 times with the melee weapon uh, of course you will have six of them but if all six of them are attacking the guy at the same time then you're not attacking anything else so it's like uh, you lose here or there anyway you you can't really avoid them losing let's go with this eight percent damage or six percent dodge damage or defense i'm gonna say damage i i'm gaining so much max life just through the levels we're of course gonna roll here 10 luck though let's get 10 luck whatever this is really good and early enough to get it this is uh, about 15 percent damage so, I think it's worth it. It's 15% damage without any downside. Well, first of all, it would be 15% at 5 waves. And we have 8 waves in front of us, with the last one not counting. So, 7 waves, 7 times 3, 21. This is 21 damage. I'm gonna say yes on 21 damage. And I'm gonna lock this down again. Let's roll for 16. I do have enough money to roll at least once. I'm gonna also take this. More damage. Lose a bit of attack speed. But that 2 range damage is like 50 damage for the obliterator. <laughs> the attack speed loss, of course, is bad, but whatever. At the end of the day, we are a ranged character, and the good thing with ranged characters is that as long as you have enough damage and attack speed, you don't really care about defense. And I also have 70 max life, so I already don't really care about defense, as uh, my life will only continue going up through those levels, unless I find something that reduces it, of course. So, in general, I just want to have, like, I would say 5 armor. Normally I say 10 armor, but the thing is that this, this goes hand-to-hand -hand with how much health you have. Right? If you have a million health, then you need zero armor. If you have uh, 10 health, you need 900 armor. So, um, definitely, with uh, with 70 life right now, I would say at 5 or 6 armor. And about 10 to 20% uh, dodge, I should be safe-ish. Now, I don't have any regen, so we got that part being an issue right now. I don't have any way of actually fixing any issues with healing. That we might have, but whatever. Doesn't really matter. 500 coins, very nice. Max life against dodge. Mm, honestly, I would say no, because we are still scaling life. And this is 55 coins. Uh, forced legendary at level 25. This is a very rare thing I got too. Let's roll, of course. Nothing of course. There 5 max HP region would be really, really defensive. 9% crit chance, multiplicative damage is really good. And 20 luck is also really good. Uh, I would say we go with crit chance. I will buy the scope. I got another shredder here. Uh, I cannot buy all of these, so I'm gonna say we're gonna buy the scope. I, I can buy all of them. Let's buy this and let's also buy that. Now I got a legendary shredder. Very nice. The reason why I didn't uh, combine these to fit the next one is because I want to combine them if I find another gray one. Let's reroll here. Honestly, nothing of importance. I could take this. You know what? I'm gonna take that. That's 5% damage and 5% dodge. I know that previously I literally did not take that when I had the chance. Wait, did I not take it? I think I did take it. But now I am making money and now I actually have like a build that works. So now I don't really need to care about my purchases anymore. And that's also another difference here. The more powerful you become, you can become a bit more... Um frugal or the opposite of frugal i don't know even what that word means uh, you can become uh, spend heavy i guess you can start spending the, the the more your build works the more you can just you know put a little bit of dodge here put a little bit of crit here while in the beginning you're like i need to find my weapons i need to find damage i need to find attack speed uh, l later down the path you're like okay i i got everything opponents die in one hit i am tanky enough i i just need to get a bit more crit chance a bit more damage a bit more uh, dodge just to fix any uh, fix any, uh, I guess not fix any, but how could we say this? Uh, plug the holes of your defense, I guess. 
<laughs> I don't know how you're exactly supposed to say this. Like, uh, cover your weaknesses. Cover your weaknesses, that would make sense as a sentence. HP reaching as lifestyle, I would say, yes. Burning spreads, I would say, give you money. Two range damage, might as well take it. Uh, two lifestyles, we roll here, we can find our two range damage again. Let's take that. Four HP region, though, it's a lot. Mm, nah, let's go to range damage. Reject that's bounce. As far as I understand, you know what? I don't need this. It's 50% damage just for a bounce. These have piercing and this is infinite piercing. Theoretically, bounce sounds good, but I don't need it. Explosion damage is what we're going to go for. Who, who knows how many explosion damage I've lost, I have lost, by the way. I never realized. Uh, let's get to HP region. Yeah, I'm going to buy 2 HP region against the luck. And uh, I would say let's go. Actually, I can roll for 25. Speed and range. That sounds good. Uh, you know what? I'm going to buy this. This, uh, once again, this is not going to pay for itself, by the way. Uh, 5 times 8 is 40. Uh, even if we implement the 5% harvesting gain, it's going to be just plus 5. So it's like 45. But it's going to give us XP. So I'm just going to give it out of the value of gaining XP. I mean, I don't know if that's a good idea. Like, mathematically speaking, if it even makes sense. Uh, but so many people are telling me, don't only think about the fact that if it's going to pay for itself, think also, think also about the fact that it gives you more XP. So I'm going to do it today. Today I'm going to be like, okay, we're going to spend 68 coins to get 50 more XP. Is that worth it? I would value no. Uh, we're not even spending 60 coins. We're spending at the end of the day 20 coins. So it's like, would you pay 20 coins for 50 XP? Well, it would be nice if I could float over this and see how much XP we need or we gain or whatever. So I have no real, I guess, idea about if it's value for money or not. But that doesn't really matter. I don't think we're going to get that many more levels either, by the way. I think we're stuck at pretty much... I don't think we're going to get to 50. Uh, 50 what? I don't think we're going to get to 35, I would say. If we get to level 40 and more, I'm going to be really, really impressed about the ability of this character. And I definitely need to start investing into defense, armor or whatever, because this is scaring me, man. Yeah, we're going to invest into defense from here on out on level ups. No, we're going to roll these. 12% damage against one arm. I'm going to go with 12% damage. I can't even... I, I can't even... <laughs> I can't even stick to my own words. Uh, I would say yes on loose movement speed for armor. And then I would say get crit chance for armor back. So now we do like 10% more damage multiplied with everything else. Let's roll 21. Non nothing important here. Roll for 28. We found weapons. Uh, I mean, we're going to combine here and buy this. And we're going to lock this down and continue with our path. Let us go. Now uh, now that I have zero armor, by the way, I'm starting to become a lot more afraid than what I used to be. I, I think I have one or something. Man, I need to get like a purple, uh, a purple plus three armor level up on the level. Or, or a legendary plus five armor item or something like that. Uh, of course, as always, one of the better items that could possibly uh, appear and we would like to get as a legendary it would be Retromission's hoodie right now, as that thing gives us crazy attack speed and also a crazy dodge. I mean, mostly crazy dodge and crazy attack speed is what I care about. I don't know what I meant with the sentence, by the way. I literally said the same thing twice, and then I just changed the position order of what I meant to say. Like, in my mind, I was like, but I care about the attack speed, but the dodge is a lot, so I care about the dodge, and like, I, I don't know, I froze full on. I also started developing some ticks on things I'm saying, like the word like, which uh, I really want to get rid of. I don't want to say like repeating words as if I'm tick. I would take 20% on heals at the end of the day. I'm gonna take that. It's gonna definitely give us more than 41. <laughs> 9% dodge, I'm just gonna take that, I said defense, and here we go, the payoff item, <laughs> the payoff item, let's go, and uh, I would say shredder against attack speed, we lose armor, I'm gonna say this, 5% attack, attack speed and range for one armor, I don't think this is worth it, now that I'm actually, you know, looking at it, I don't think it's worth it, let's get the shredder and let's just continue our path, now we have like a 33% chance to get a 50% chance roll for a coin, so that means we have about... No, actually, what's my crit chance on the weapons? My weapons have a 41% crit chance, obliterator included. So I have a 40% chance to get a 50% coin. That means I have a 20% chance. So right now, there is a 20% chance every single kill I do is going to be um, a coin, you know. Now you might say, but Sift, if the first hit is a crit and doesn't kill, and then the second hit is not a crit, then the chance is not actually that. Yeah, that, that, that does not matter. It doesn't even make sense because at the end of the day, the only hit that matters is that last hit that gets the kill. Regardless of if the opponent had 100 life and got critted or if the opponent got 5 life and got critted. Like, the only thing that matters is that the killing hit is a crit and that killing crit 
has literally a 40% chance to happen to be a crit because that's how it happens. That's how it works. And if anything, I would say I have a higher than 20% chance to actually get the money out of a kill because of the opposite being easier to happen. And give me a sec here. 5% harvesting against enemies. I would say no, I prefer enemies. Lifesteal against knockback. I'm going to say yes to that. I mean, we now have 3% lifesteal and we got another Force Legendary. I didn't even know that there is another Force Legendary level 3D. I love it. I love this character so much. Uh, attack speed from 11 to 20. Yeah, to 31. That sounds good. 9 max HP. Honestly, uh, let's try to maybe happen to roll something better. Here we go. <laughs> uh, let's go with this. Oh, I, I don't have any more purple? Or do I... Oh, it's a taser. I'm so stupid. It's a taser. Did I lock down a taser previously? Like, did I literally do that? Attack speed against damage, and then a lock against damage. So we're going to lose 4% damage for lock and attack speed. I'm going to say yes. Let's roll this. Primitive slingshot. Ooh. Opponents move even faster. I have even more life. <laughs> uh, that sounds so stupid, but I'm going to just do it. Nah, I'm not going to do it. Let's roll for 40. Another shredder. Uh, I can't really buy it. I'm going to say let's lock this down. And let's lock this down too. I want to buy this. Uh, actually, I will buy this now because it's going to give me a level. But I'm going to just lock this down because I got the piggy bank. So it's going to give us a bit of money on that purchase. It's a kill on everything. So let me continue what I was trying to say. So uh, th actually, I have more than 20% chance to gain coin. Regardless of, you know, the fact that I have 40% chance or whatever. And the reason is because of how uh, the game works. Like, imagine the following. An opponent has 100 life. And my do... Normally, I do, let's say, 80 damage, okay? Let's say 50 damage, just to, be, to have, like, circle numbers going around. So, if my first hit is a crit, then from 50 damage, the opponent actually takes 100, dies on the spot, and then the roll for getting money out of the crit happens, right? Because the first hit was a crit. Now, if the first hit is not a crit, then, uh, guess what? The opponent doesn't even die. Therefore, I have another chance to attack him again, and if that is a crit, then I still have the 50% chance to gain the money. So as you understand, non-crits have a higher chance of allowing the opponent to stay alive and giving me another chance to try to get the kill with a crit. And that is not always true, of course. Let's go with 3 max life here. Uh, let's go with... No, max life. No, I want to get armor, man. Not two armor. Four it's, it's just a gamble I'm doing right now. 59 the rule. 4 melee damage, 2 range damage, 15 luck. I'm gonna go with 2 range damage, man. Let's go with uh, this. I can't really buy it. Let's recycle. Actually, no. Let's combine these. Let's buy this. Crit chance against armor. Honestly, I'm gonna take it as crit chance is money for us. Let's roll 25. And uh, yeah, that's it pretty much. Let's go. So yeah, of course it's not always true. The thing I just mentioned, it, it doesn't isn't true if the opponent has one life or two life. Like if, if opponents have less than my base damage, if my base damage is 50 and opponents have like 20 life, then the whole thing I just mentioned does just straight up doesn't exist. But if the opponents have more life, than, actually if the opponents have are able to die from one hit, but not able to die from two hits, uh, from a no if, <laughs> okay, sorry for that. If opponents are able to die from one crit, but they are unable to die from one hit, then uh, that thing happens. And the more crit damage you do, by the way, the higher that thing is a uh, chance to happen. Because right now, I just do double damage. So if an opponent dies, for example, from three normal hits, then that means that even a crit wouldn't heal, kill, him, kill him. So then the math changes around again. So it's a bit of um, a bit of here, a bit of there. Like the math is very dependent on how much life the opponents have. But if, for example, I had the knives, which in this game, the knives do like five time crit damage, then even if the opponents die, then it would be even more easy to do this whole idea that I'm trying to explain. 20% uh, attack speed for sure. But if there was two armor, nope. We can go for 20% attack speed, I don't care. Especially with the obliterator. I don't know why the sound effect of obliterator is. Um... Do you know what that sound is, by the way? Let's go with this. And uh, I would say even this. No, I'm kidding. I'm not going to buy that. Another hunting trophy. Is this going to make enough money back in time? I think no. I'm going to buy it because memes. <laughs> let's get 2% of this damage. And I'm going to roll again. And uh, yeah, I think that's it pretty much. I would lay. I would say let's lock this down. Get a bit of life still at the end of the day. We're not at the final wave yet, by the way. Let's see. So yeah, like if, for example, I had the knives and the knives, as I said, do like five times your crit damage, then if the opponent has, for example, 300 life and you normally do... Actually, if the opponent has 500 life and you do 100 damage with a knife, you have five chances to get a crit because the crit does 500 damage on its own, right? So each hit that was not a crit would be like, oh, the opponent still survives. It's only lost one fifth of his life. And then you get a crit, then boom, instantly you get the kill with a crit and then you activate the money gaining thing. So if you think about it, it's actually really, really uh, good. 
to have as much crit damage as possible possible when you do uh, when you try to get a hunting trophy build going in case you didn't understand what i'm explaining this whole time i'm talking about the item that says you have a 50 percent chance on kill if it is a crit kill to get money out of a kill so that's pretty much what i'm trying to explain here how how good it is with higher crit chance crit damage weapons not crit chance crit damage weapons. it's obviously better with crit with high crit chance and that's that's a given i don't need to explain that a thousand coins maybe it paid for itself uh, let's take pickup range whatever uh, I would say let's roll here for armor. We got it. <laughs> the game is like, okay, bro, I'm gonna give you the thing you need. Let's get po to poison tonic. Uh, let's also get one or two percent life. So why not? Let's also get the screw grab. No, I'm kidding. Uh, let's get. That's bad. No, I'm not gonna take that stupid thing for the boss fight. Let's get another shredder upgrade, and let's get a five percent damage boost. The longer we survive on the boss, let's go fight the boss. Let's see, is this thing even gonna survive? Obliterator, obliterate! <laughs> this is the easy boss, by the way. I love this boss, man. It just does nothing. Oh, mutation. Oh, no, it shoots more things that you can just sidestep. You can just sidestep. <laughs> I didn't even need to move. Look at this. Yeah, I mean, I didn't want to... S yeah, I didn't make... I, I didn't mean look at this when the boss decided to transition over to the I don't move phase. I even got a dodge. I, I don't even need to move, like, at all. I'm just gonna say stay here. And the more I stay here, the more it powers up my wisdom. Obliterator, obliterate! Obliterator, obliterate! Do you know what the sound effect that I was mentioning is, by the way? Something like that. Yeah, in case in case you didn't guess yet, um, it's, uh, in my mind at least, in my mind, it's a hyper beam from uh, Pokemon Red and Blue, like the very first cassettes. I remember it was like... Something like that. And, and then it always made like... At the end, as if it's like any normal attack. Anyway, what did we get? Octopus. 12 max life and 5% HP uh, uh, lifesteal. And you lose 8% crit chance. You know what I have to say about this. Do you know? Does anybody, can you guys guess what I'm going to say about this right now? Yeah, I hate it. In case you didn't guess correctly, I hate it. And I don't hate it about what it does specifically. Like, what it does, it makes sense to me. It's an extremely defensive item that, if you're not a crit build, doesn't even have a downside. Like, as an item, it's not trash. I'm not saying that. I hate it because it makes no sense whatsoever for this character to unlock this thing. Like, this character is supposed to be... You gain levels... And uh, this thing doesn't even give you XP gain. Like, I would say this should give you XP gain at the minimum. At the minimum, it should give you XP gain. I would even go as far as to say that um, reduce the max HP it gives from 12 to 10. Uh, maybe even 5 max HP, 5 lifesteal, and give it give you like 30 XP gain or 50 XP gain, to be honest. 50, 50 XP gain. If, any, if anything, you know what? Forget the whole idea. Make this thing give you 100 XP gain and minus 10% crit chance. And nothing else. I don't care about the life. I don't care about anything. You know why? Because that would be fun. And if you think about it, oh, Swift 100% XP gain is busted. Yeah, yeah. But this is a legendary item. It is in the pool of the legendary items, which are already extremely hard to get. Like, when when was the last time I got my own item? When was the last time I got the Retromation Sodi? Like, I'm, I'm asking for these items every single time, and, like, you don't find them. So it's already a legendary. And uh, you find... all. Not only is it hard to find anyway, uh, you find it very late in the game, right? At, at level 10, at level 12, like, in, in later waves. So, so I would say just make it give you 100% XP gain. 100% XP, XP gain and you lose 10% crit chance. That would be, in my opinion, the best uh, decision point. Or if you want to make it more like the character, 100% XP gain and shops become 5% more expensive. Don't, of course, don't make it 50, make it 5. It would make sense as uh, there is already a thing that um, reduces the shops by 5% and it's common. So the downside of 6%. So the downside of increasing price by 5% of course is really bad, but still uh, you, you can do it, man. I I don't know i don't know but i would definitely definitely prefer this to have some kind of meaning about what character i unlock this thing like it doesn't make sense to me that this thing is just max life and lifesteal or whatever and now you might say but if max life means uh level ups right level ups it's a reference to level ups no i don't accept that as a as a thing <laughs> like at all <laughs> If anything, I would even say uh, give it 100% more XP gain and lose 10 max life to take it. And then the idea being that you will gain it back through the levels. I don't know, man. But this is... I, I don't enjoy it. It's a decent item, but I don't enjoy it as a as a unlock. I don't know. I want you guys to agree this agree in the comments down below. And the time has come for me to actually remember and go for the options. So what is supposed to be here? Accessibility. Oh. What? This is a thing? Wait, what? You can make the game a joke? By the way, I understand what people told me to do. So people told me to... Uh, by the way, for some reason, everything is... What? <laughs> the enemy damage is affecting how the font goes. What is this? Of course, the affection happens by the 100% here. But the thing is that... <laughs> whatever. It's so weird. Um, yeah. 
first of all, I love this, okay? People have told me to increase this to the max so more opponents move so fast towards me so that I get kills faster. That, that's the idea here. Make the game harder for yourself so that opponents, uh, the moment they spawn, they run into you so you can kill them faster. I like the idea of using that for that. And I also enjoy this as a general. I always, always, always enjoy it and love it. I love it, like, so much. I want to say something positive about the game today. Um, I love it so much when games are like, you know what? Play the game however you want, man. If, if you want to be a little uh, a person that just wants to beat the game and play on easy mode, here, do this or do that. If you just want to farm up and do a crazy run, yeah, you can do whatever you want. By the way, I have a question. I have a question. If I do something like this, th this, this question now is very, very evil, I guess. So let's say I, I do this. Let's say I do this. Th this would be something that would not really be felt, for example. And, and then I, I go into start game. Is it literally uh, impossible for somebody to realize? Yes, there is nothing here that indicates the fact that we're playing on easy mode. Okay, and even if I pause, options, yep, accessibility goes away. You can't even see it. I can't. Wow, wow. Of course, <laughs> I, I, I would suggest, I would suggest at minimum. Let me actually lose here because at the end there is like always a screen that shows you. Maybe at the end it's visible if you're playing on accessibility mode. Oh, the, yeah. Is this it? Oh no, I think this is just where I lost, at 92% of the wave, right? Like, uh, if, if I just uh, do another run, by the way, where's the ghost here? Ghost, easy deaths. Uh, yeah, let's, let's try to do another run real quick to see if that 92% means that I was very slow. I, I was very, yeah, I died slow, so this should be like 50% now, or 20. 92, okay! So this is actually the difficulty. Okay, I, I love it, I love the fact that you can actually see um, yeah, you can actually see that you're playing on easy mode. So, that's always enjoyable. This guy has too much life steal to actually die. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna kill him off here. Ah, uh, he has too much max life. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, opponents move very slowly. Okay, let's say we lose because, uh... No, you don't lose if you press, like, uh, main menu. Yeah, you don't lose if you do that. I need to do the ghost again. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sticking here at the end, but I hope you guys, uh, mind my... Don't mind my experimentation and actually welcome it or something. I'm gonna get hit, get hit. No, 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 don't kill them all, don't kill them all. And this should be like 25% now, right? Okay, it's it's visible. Okay, fair enough. So keep in mind, when you see other YouTubers play this game, look at the end screen. What is up here written? Are they, are they actually secretly playing on easy mode without actually telling you? Because I'm definitely not gonna do that. And, uh, you know what? This is another... Yeah, I really love this, man. I love this. That's what I tried to say. So I tried to say that I love the fact that this dev is not one of those... I mean, I mean, first of all, first of all, I have to say that this dev does nerf things like this character and, uh, what other did I love? I think this character also got nerfed and, uh, definitely the pacifist got nerfed. Like, this character... The, the, the dev is nerfing things, okay? We're not gonna say it's a god dev that actually doesn't nerf things. No, he does nerf things. But I do enjoy the fact that, um, if, if, you, if you, the game is too hard, you just... Boom, boom, do whatever you want. And I would say this here, this here existing should even be maybe somewhere else. I guess they don't want it to be very prevalent, uh, prevalent, 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 whatever. I think th I, I guess the dev doesn't want, you know, everybody to be, uh, have that always in their mind. Like you press start and then you go over here and then before you choose difficulty, you also have accessibility options down here. And you're like, okay, I'm going to play on easy mode today. Blah, 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 or something. A lot of games have here custom settings and then you press it and then you see the accessibility mode and you can do whatever you want. Um, I, maybe I would suggest something like that, but what I'm trying to say here is that I enjoy the fact that the dev doesn't care about the game being beaten, right? Like, if anybody wants, they can just a boom, uh, and like something like that, so that you get even more kills and even more money, and uh, then you just have your fun time and just play the game however you want. So I do enjoy that this exists. With this thing existing, can somebody explain to me why nerfs are happening? Like, if you have your difficulty here, and if you also have your difficulty uh, here, why do you need to nerf things? I mean, you can just say, you know what, uh, saver is broken, but can you beat saver at level 5 and also with all the accessibility things at the max? I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm a bit, not confused, but... I would say conflicted about how this should go because I am definitely, uh, I definitely believe that people should not um, always. Uh, oh, you want the challenge? Go change the options. No, I, I do enjoy the whole idea of uh, if you want the challenge, play on higher difficulty levels. Not actually go and change the options by hand. It always feels a bit wonky to me. Um, it, it's a different thing to say I beat level twenty difficulty, and it's a, diff a different thing to say uh, I beat the game with every single option at maximum. I, I played with uh, twenty curses and one hundred percent damage taken. One hundred 
Gibson damn it. like no I I feel difficulty the difficulty idea is just more streamlined more logical on the other hand though if the game is too hard you can just reduce the difficulty of it so uh, I also don't get why they should nerf things on the same flip coin you can increase the difficulty of it I don't know I don't know but the one thing I'm definitely sure about is that I enjoy accessibility options always I'm not gonna use them but still I do enjoy that they exist and as I said if you see somebody play the game always remember at the end does he play at the harm difficulty or is he like uh, seem like uh, is he playing on easy mode has he has he done something like this some sneaky things like these so you're not able to realize that he's playing practically on easy mode actually if I do something like this is this going to be how much percent would that be would that be harm percent? That's a good question. I'm, I'm doing experiments here at the end. I love experimenting, and uh, I don't know when I would experiment if not now. Come on, let's get the death. Let's see, is this 100%? 96. Okay. So, I guess if I bring this up by, I guess, 150. And now it's gonna look like it's uh, on hard mode, and it's, uh, although it's gonna be on easy mode. Like, uh, you might now see, oh... It's it's 105 percent. He's playing on hard mode, but in reality, it's actually extremely easy mode. I am dying on purpose, by the way. But let's see. Oh yeah, 99 percent. Okay. I mean, yeah. Of course, it makes sense. If I now do this, then it's gonna be a guaranteed above average. So yeah, that means that a lot of people could do this easily, like make opponents easier to easier to kill, or do less damage. Yeah, look at this. 103 damage. 103%, so I'm playing on harder mode. And there is definitely some middle path here that if you have everything, uh, like, I guess, in the middle, then you will, uh, you know, get the 100%. Wait a minute, is this 100%? If this now shows 100%, then I can guarantee you can just cheese it. I hope it's just not gonna say anything. Okay, just doesn't say anything. I fully agree with that. It should just straight up not say anything. Like uh, minus five and plus five and minus five. The thing is that I, I try to I try to achieve a hundred percent. Like I try I try to achieve that it shows a hundred percent instead of saying hundred one or hundred two or whatever. I just wanted to say a hundred percent straight up, so that it shows that somebody messed with the options. No, it doesn't. Okay, that's bad, of course. <laughs> that's very bad, of course, because uh, that means that opponents uh, people could do something like this, um, or in general something that they think is easier. Because I think. You most of the time die by getting hit. So, actually, this is very easy, in my opinion. If you play a glass cannon build, you can just do this. Make opponents be a lot weaker. Have 50% less health, but do 50% more damage. But if, if you kill them all with an SMG, it doesn't even matter. And you can do here. They have 75% less health and even 200% more damage. Or 75% more damage done. And then you go and play and it doesn't even show that it's a mixed up. And then uh, nobody is the wiser because you're doing a cookie, uh, cookie cutter glass cannon build. And no, not a single opponent is able to attack you or something. Of course, if I do one damage and I kill a tank, then all, all, everybody's gonna know. But the thing is that if I do this, if I make the opponents only 10% weaker, or if I do this, if I make the opponents not actually kill me, and then also within the run I build up a bit of armor, nobody's gonna be the wiser. Uh, and especially, you, you can't really feel if opponents survive hits, so the, the upside of having more health is definitely not visible. Man, I, I, I'm unmasking some things here that uh, might be important for this game, etc, uh, etc. Et My opinion, by the way, simplest solution, Dev, if you're here listening to this, just put down here, like, accessibility mode activated as simple as that and it's done it's it's fixed i mean this isn't even a thing that is important <laughs> this this isn't even something that matters but still we 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 discovered something today anyway thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, analysis of the accessibility mode here at the end i'm not really gonna use it but still i just wanted to mention that it exists now that i have found out about it and uh, yeah i have to say it should really stay i would really 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 prefer it if the accessibility mode was down here right uh, literally before the options there was a button here accessibility mode and then when you activate it you uh, then a pop-up happens you choose whatever you want and then when you press ok on it it becomes a green button that is like accessibility active you know or a tick behind left, left next to it so uh, so it's very visible and then it, within the run itself down here in the corner it would say accessibility mode active or something like that not that it really matters this is just for content creator related purposes obviously whoever can pl plays this game as I said, I'm conflicted about it because on the one hand, I would like this to be a thing, although I'm not going to use it. On the other hand, I don't want this to be a thing because then people are going to be, you know, willing to just press the button and do whatever they want. The one thing I'm definitely, definitely, definitely going to be saying though here, and it's very important for everybody to understand this, I think 
uh, even if you play with accessibility mode, you should still unlock things, get your wins, get your achievements, get everything. I don't think it's uh, there. I don't think there is any reason for anybody to gatekeep a single player game. Okay, this is completely different discussion about nerfing and not nerfing. I mean, I'm very you know adamant about the not nerf, other than when something is completely and utterly busted and broken. But uh, this is completely different. I'm not talking about nerfing and not nerfing. I'm talking about the fact that if you want to play the game in your own leisure and your own play style and whatever, they should not gatekeep you and say, no, if you want to unlock things, you actually have to play in hard. But no, just allow me to do whatever I want, man. It's a single player game. I want to have fun. And I'm not talking about me specifically. I have already destroyed this game a thousand times in the normal accessibility settings without even knowing that they exist. So this is not an issue for me. I'm just saying, you know, everybody has his own pace. Everybody likes to play their own game in their own way. So having accessibility options is definitely good, as long as they're not like elitists. That being that, oh, you use accessibility option? I guess you're not going to be able to get the things that everybody else gets. No, I, I fully disagree with that. And I hope you guys disagree with that too. I hope that accessibility allows you to still get all the achievements and everything. Because at the end of the day, you're playing games for yourself. Uh, uh, nobody should actually, you know, be affected by um, everybody being a gatekeeper or whatever. Uh, imagine, uh, oh, I, I beat the game on difficulty 5, uh, but I'm gonna whine about the fact that somebody else beat the game on difficulty 5 uh, with uh, accessibility options. Like, imagine, imagine, imagine not being happy about your achievements, but actually being happy about your achievements in comparison to somebody else, when the whole purpose of playing games is you having fun. Like, uh, I, I really don't understand it. I do understand, fa like, if, if somebody has, like, an extremely hard game, like a challenging game, if you play, like, uh, Dark Souls or whatever, and you're like, I beat this game without using XYZ weapon and whatnot. Yeah, okay, you can flex about things that are flex worthy, so to speak. But, uh, like, we're talking about Rotato, man. We're talking about games that are just break the game and have fun. These games should never be gatekeep, gate back kept or whatever. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop likes on the channel. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe. It helps out too. I mean, you can see more footage of me or whatever. Thanks for the Patreon membership support, as always. Thanks for you 1% guys that stayed here at the very, very, very end. Although this was like one of my biggest outros in Rotato ever. And um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely like the run. Uh, I would like to really hear opinions on the, uh, by the way, about the things I said, either about gatekeeping or about the accessibility option or about anything you would like to mention, uh, because this whole outro thing is to open discussions. It's not about me just ranting to random things. Now, I do know a bunch of you guys are watching me without actually watching the screen, so I guess you have something to hear about and think about while you're listening to me. Man, I need to open up a new channel, something like Sift Talks or Sift Philosophy or something like that. I'm gonna just put all over there or something. I don't know. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Once again, thanks for watching and see you guys around.